In this video, you're going to learn how to write an interval notation where the graph is increasing, decreasing, and constant. And we're going to go through five examples together. So let's dive into this video. First of all, what do we mean when we say the graph is increasing or decreasing or constant? Well, increasing, it's like reading a book. When you read from left to right, you're looking at where is the graph going up to the right. It's almost like it has like a positive slope in a sense. It doesn't have to be a, a constant slope, but it's going up to the right. We say that's increasing. Decreasing, we say it's like, like going downhill, like as reading from left to right, going down, down, down to the right. That's called decreasing. And then constant means it's like a horizontal line. So it has like a slope of zero like that. Now, if you don't remember anything at all from this video, the most important thing to remember is you don't want to include the endpoints of the interval because what's happening is when the graph is changing from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing or decreasing to constant, whenever it's changing, that particular point where it's changing, you don't want to include it because it's kind of like it's switching, you know, from increasing to decreasing or, or one of the other types. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's go through some examples together. So for number one, what I would do is I would scan from left to right, just like I'm reading a book, and I'd say, oh, I can see the graph is going up to the right. So that tells me it's increasing, and I'll just draw an up arrow here to abbreviate increasing, and that's for what x values are the y values increasing. So for what x values are the y values going up, up, up? Well, that's going to be from negative infinity to negative 1. And again, remember, open interval. You don't want to include the endpoints because here at negative 1, you can see the graph is like, is it constant? Is it increasing? Is it decreasing? It's, it's, it's switching, right? Basically at this point. Now where is the graph decreasing? Well again, reading from left to right, the graph is going down, down, down. So we're basically saying for what x values are the y values decreasing? And that's going to be from negative 1 to positive infinity. And again, open intervals. And then where is the graph constant? I'll just draw like a horizontal line to abbreviate constant. There's really nowhere on this graph where the graph is going horizontal. So we'll just say none for that. Okay, let's go to the next one, number two. So what do you think on this one? Where is the graph increasing, decreasing, or constant? Well, again, reading kind of like a book from left to right, okay, uh, you can see that, okay, the graph's going up to the right. So as x values, for what x values are the y values increasing? Well, that's from negative infinity to positive 1. So negative infinity to positive 1, not including 1, because once you get to 1, you can see now we have a horizontal line, so it's going to be constant from 1 to 2. Again, not including the endpoints, so open interval. And then once you get to 2, it's going down to the right. That's like kind of like a negative slope. It's decreasing. So for what x values are the y values decreasing? That's from 2 onward, or we could say 2 to infinity. Okay, what do you think for number 3? Where is the graph increasing, decreasing, constant? Now, this one's a little bit more challenging. So increasing, I always think of like a slope, like a positive slope. So I know like up to the right, up to the right. So basically, from here, and here, these two little regions, it's increasing. So what we're going to do for increasing on this one is we're going to say from 1, sorry, negative 1 to 0, okay, it's increasing. But also from 1 onward, it's increasing. So we're going to put the U for union, and we have two intervals united, okay, together. Make sure you work from left to right, like low to high. Now, where is the graph decreasing, meaning it's going down to the right, kind of has like a negative slope? We can see here it's going down to the right, here it's going down to the right. So again, two intervals. And so for what x values are the y values decreasing, that's going to be from negative infinity to negative 1, again, not including the endpoints, union from 0. See this? Now, see, here's where students make a mistake. They sometimes look at the the y values to say, oh, it's decreasing from, uh, from 2 down to 0. Those are the y values. So I always say to myself, for what x values are the y values decreasing? So the y values are going down between 0 and 1. Again, using an open interval, it doesn't include 0, doesn't include 1, because at those points, it's then changing direction. And is there any place on this graph where it's horizontal or constant? No. It would look something more like this, like a horizontal line. So let's do two more examples together. Maybe you can pause the video and try these on your own for some practice. 
And let's look at those next. Okay, so what do you think for number four and five? Where is the graph increasing, decreasing, or constant in interval notation? See if you can do these. And while you're doing that, I just wanna let you know if you like the way that I explain things, I've got video courses for sale on Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 slash College Algebra. And what's neat about these courses is that sometimes in my videos, you know, I highlight some of the you know, important concepts, but there's some connecting concepts sometimes that don't get covered in my YouTube videos or even in other YouTube videos because people are highlighting, oh, how to complete the square or how to graph a parabola. But sometimes there's some little in-between I would say kind of like connectors that help you to build from one concept onto the next. And those are the types of things that I uh, talk about in the courses as well as those key concepts uh, as well, building one concept on top of the, to the next. So if you like the way I explain things, check out those courses for sale, video uh, links in the description. And what do you think for number four and number five now? So uh, where is the graph increasing? Now, another analogy that might help you is, imagine you're driving a car. Okay, so here's your little car, okay? And you drive the car from left to right, like this, across the graph. So you can see that it makes sense that we're going downhill, right? And so that means, okay, that's decreasing, that's decreasing. Here the car is going up to the right, like it's going uphill, okay? Kind of like a roller coaster here. So it looks like it's increasing from negative one to zero. So for what X values are the Y values going up? That's from negative one to zero, again, remember open intervals. Where is the graph decreasing? Well, you can see from negative infinity to negative one, remember we're using the x values, and then union also from zero onward, so we can say from zero to positive infinity. Again, don't wanna be confused and say, oh, from four to negative infinity or negative infinity to four. Those are the y values. We're saying for what x values are the y's going down, 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 down? Okay, for number five, what did you get for this one? Where is the graph increasing, decreasing, or constant? Well, again, you wanna think about going from left to right and think about this graph as going, if it's up to the right, it's increasing, down to the right, decreasing, horizontal, constant. What's interesting about this graph is we've got some asymptotes, see these dashed or dotted lines. So the graph's gonna get closer to those asymptotes, but it's not gonna to touch, not gonna to cross. So here it looks like it's increasing, basically from negative infinity to two. Okay, not including two. And then what happens is we jump way down here and it goes up, 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 up to the right again. So that means for what X values are the Y values increasing? Well, again, that's gonna be from two to positive infinity. So we have a little gap here because of the vertical asymptote. But in this case, the graph is basically always going up to the right it's just that it's in these two branches. And so it's never decreasing, never going down to the right, never horizontal. So great job if you're able to follow these five examples. If you want some more practice, if you wanna test yourself and do some more problems, or you just wanna see some more explanation, follow me over to another video I did talking about this same concept, increasing, decreasing, constant, and I'll see you over in that video.